It's a common misconception among many known Muslims that Muslims do not believe in Jesus, peace be upon him. Misinformation and assumptions are the fuel that feed into this myth. The reality is that Muslims do believe in Jesus and love him just as much as Christians do, probably more. The primary difference is in the role of Jesus. Christians, depending upon who you ask, believe that he is either God incarnate or the Son of God. Muslims, however, reject the notion that God has a Son or is part of a trinity. As Allah tells us in the Noble Quran, and say praise to Allah, who has not taken a son and has had no partner in his dominion and has no need of a protector out of weakness, and glorify him with great glorification. According to Islam, Jesus was a prophet of God. He was a man and a messenger who came to deliver God's message to mankind. As a young Christian girl growing up, I struggled with Jesus' role in the faith of my parents. Ultimately, it was my quest to understand his role that led me to the religion of Islam. No matter how many churches I visited or sermons I listened to, I could not find Jesus. It took many months for me to finally realize that I should be searching for God instead. I stopped praying to Jesus and instead decided to pray to God alone, without partner or intercessor. I had no idea that this was the basis of Islam. It would take many years of self-discovery, introspection and questioning before I finally opened an English translation of the Noble Quran back as 22 years old Christian woman. After only reading a few pages, the tears flowed effortlessly from my eyes. I read and read, absorbing every word over the next several months. When I arrived at chapter Mariam, named after Mary, the mother of Jesus, I finally understood what Jesus' role was as a prophet of God and learned the truth about his miraculous birth, his life and prophethood. I knew that Islam was the religion for me and I declared my faith in Allah almightily, along with all his books and prophets, and make him a messenger to the children of Israel who will say, Indeed I have come to you with the sign from your Lord, in that I design for you from clay, that which is like the form of a bird, then I breathe into it and it becomes a bird by permission of Allah. In just this one verse alone, I learn more about Jesus, peace be upon him, than I had during an entire lifetime as a Christian. The Noble Quran dispelled the myths I had heard growing up and clarified Jesus' role perfectly. It also shed light on the crucifixion, as well as the knowledge that Jesus will one day return to this world to leave out the rest of his life before the day of judgment begins. I love Jesus, as all Muslims do, and share the stories of his life and his blessed mother Mary with my children. He was a man, not the son of God or God, who delivered the message of Allah to his people. It is not fitting to worship Jesus or ascribe him as a partner to the one and only Allah. It is our Lord, cherisher and sustainer Allah Almightily, who is worthy of all worship, not any part of his creation.